Hello, my name is Jacob Eisenhart and I'm the team lead for the Ultra Low Cost Sensor Array Team. Uh, other team members are Alex Furland, who is our lead programmer, Michael Kishler, who is in charge of testing and purchasing, Tony La Rosa, who is our uh, assistant leader and also deals with circuitry, and then Michael Moldovan, who is another one of our programmers. Our team is located here in Nantes, France, which is southwest of Paris. Uh, we are here for the whole semester, and then we will continue our project when we get back to Grove City in the spring. Uh, we partner with a local grande école called Oneris, which is just the equivalent of a U.S. Uh, graduate school or master's program. Um, so we partner, they are a agricultural engineering and veterinary science uh, school. So we partner with an agricultural engineering program um, that deals with food science um, to help them develop a data acquisition system to monitor temperature, humidity, and heat flux of either food items or an oven. Um, so this is just a basic overview of what our um, project looks like. Uh, so we have a data acquisition unit uh, connected uh, through wires and circuitry to some sensors um, that measure uh, temperature in our case for this year. Um, that is within a thermal barrier. Um, then, then that whole package will run through a tunnel oven which is roughly 250 degrees Celsius um, to either measure the temperature of a food item that I can run through the conveyor belt with or of just the oven itself to help calibrate it um, or also used for testing. Um, our actual low-cost sensor array um, looks like this. Um, so this is just a basic diagram. So we have heat um, that goes into our thermocouples um, or just like a thermometer. Um, so it just reads the temperature uh, of the air and then that is um, used as an analog voltage signal that is amplified through three digital amplifiers and then um, connected to our Arduino so our Arduino can uh, read that data um, and then is taken through an SD card controller and then written to an SD card um, so that data can be exported to another computer um, or shared on many other devices. Um, so this is just an example of what our thermal barrier looks like. Um, so it is, honest, it is actually just a wooden box um, covered in uh, aluminum tape um, and then there's some insulation on the inside and for testing purposes here's one of those uh, thermal couples that's coming out um, and it's just wrapped within uh, some wood and then placed within this box and then placed in the oven um, so we can record the internal temperature of our thermal barrier because uh, that is what is important to our project. Um, so over these past two weeks of uh, the sprint, we have been testing um, our thermal barrier. Um, so here is um, a graph of this blue line represents the internal temperature of the oven. And this red line is the internal temperature of that thermal barrier that was on that previous slide. Um, so this is without a phase change material. Um, optimally, we are looking to keep our temperature of our of the internal temperature of our thermal barrier to be below 40 degrees Celsius. Um, so as you can see here with no phase change material, um, so no like ice pack or anything, um, it's just that uh, temperature sensor uh, sitting within that box. Um, here is where it was put in in about three minutes and after about nine minutes it was already above our limit. Um, so we know we're going to have to put some type of phase change material or um, continue prototyping with our thermal barrier to uh, limit that. Um, and then we also ran a test with that same prototype, but with a, th a phase change material or an ice pack. Um, and it was able to uh, start at room temperature and actually was cooled down to about uh, 9 or 10 degrees Celsius. And this is over um, a stretch of about 9 minutes, 10 minutes. Um, so we're going to continue further testing with that, um, with our thermal barriers um, and phase change materials. Um, so that we can hopefully keep that temperature below 40 degrees Celsius for a time of 30 minutes because um, that is one of our product uh, specifications. Um, and then do we have any questions?